<laughs> Today we are doing, I guess, the Universal tag first? We're doing a couple tags. Yeah. We'll do the Universal one, which has 12 questions. I kind of... We should probably do this one, and then this one, and then this one, because then it combines the two. Works for me. Sorry, I printed them out. So the Universal tag, most of these I kind of made up myself, but God knows someone else probably have already had these questions, but I couldn't find any on the internet, so... Universal Studios or Island of Adventure? Uh, disclaimer, if you actually watched our vlogs, we didn't really discover, like, explore too much of either. Uh, but I'm gonna go with Universal Studios just because we did a little teeny tiny bit more. Um... Also, Diagon Alley was amazing. I'm gonna go with Island of Adventure because they have the Marvel area, even though I didn't get to see it. We were too pressed for time. Yeah. So, favorite character meet and greet. We didn't really meet we too many. We only met Sam I Am and the Grinch. If you count the conductor of the train, that would be three, but if not, which I don't only think they two. I don't think that's actually a meet and greet. I think he was just there. We don't I think know. I'm gonna go with him anyway though, because I mean compared to the Grinch and Sam I am. First of all, this is gonna come up later. What I'm about to say. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say it. First of all, I'm gonna retract that statement. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, I didn't actually meet and take a photo with the conductor. I only took her photo. So I'm gonna go with the Grinch mainly because I liked his devious actions with you and then he literally just stared me down during my photo. And I, we probably would never have gone with Sam I Am because we didn't know who he was until after we took the photo I with did. him. I didn't. I do not like green eggs in here. I do not like them, Sam I Am. Favorite ride? Sarah didn't really do many rides. No, I did not. She did the carousel in Seuss Landing. The train. Yeah, I did the train the as train, well. And the train, the... Hogwarts um, train. Hogwarts Express. I would have done... Well, is the Jimmy Fallon thing even a ride? I think so. We would have done that, but when we got there, they Apparently you had to have a ticket to come back, and... It was already to that, and we were like, Gracie, uh, leave her alone. She's in the potty. We're only here until five. We're gonna go we explore there something else. We were there till four. we were there till five. No. Eh, whatever. Uh, I went on one more ride, which is actually my favorite. I went on you the... Went on two more. No, one. You did the little kitty roller coaster. Oh. Room. Yeah, I did the, um... Mom fish to fish, was that it? I don't know no. what it was actually called. They just, they read the Alphabet. ABC book from Dr. Seuss. And you just went on this track around Seuss Landing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I went on it. I thought it was an actual roller coaster and it wasn't. Um... I did also go on the Escape from Gringotts ride, and that was actually really, really fun. So, I really enjoyed it. Favorite land? Hogsmeade, Seuss Landing, etc. It doesn't have to be just Island of Adventure. Those are just the two that popped in my head when I read that. Um... I don't know. I guess Hogsmeade? I might go with Diagon Alley. I don't know if you consider this a land, though. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would go with Diagon Alley, too, because we basically spent all the time there. Well, it's technically that with a little bit of the normal, boring London. <laughs> Which, I guess I could go with London in general. London was nice, what we saw. We spent a lot of time in San Francisco, too. Eh. We basically just ate there. We did. Uh, favorite show? Uh, I didn't actually get to see it because I was in line for the Escape from Gringotts ride for two hours. Yeah. Literally, two hours. Actually, no, you was in there I think it was like 45 minutes. It was an hour, give or, or take. an hour Because and I know my minutes. train was two hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I really like the show, um, the, like, puppet show, Marriott. Mariachi? Mariachi? <laughs> Not Mariachi. What are those pu puppets? <laughs> Marionette. Marionette. That's what it is. Mariachi. <laughs> Marionette kind of show where they, ta they I mean, tell... The one where they tell the story of the Deathly Hallows. That's the I one mean, I like. I mean, if they did a Mariachi show about the Deathly Hallows, that would have been hilarious. That would have been very interesting. 
<laughs> I'm probably going to go with the first show that we saw them do. About the fountain. Well, they don't know that. The three witches in the night? No. No? Wasn't that the first show that they did? No, it was not witches. But where is it? What they, was it? They were just sisters. I thought they were witches. No, I'm pretty sure they weren't. I don't know. Go back and watch the video. I did like the singers, too. I didn't see them. You were too busy in line. Yep. Uh, when did you first visit the park? Pretty sure it was September 23rd, 2017, because we went straight from there to Disney, so... If yeah. it wasn't the 23rd, it was the 22nd? Pretty sure it was the 23rd. We think it was the 23rd. We're not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. How do you like your butter beer? Warm, cold, or frozen? Frozen. I've had it both cold and frozen, and I can tell you there definitely is a difference when it comes to it being I frozen. actually had someone tell me, I used to work at PetSmart, and um, leading up to my trip, I was very excited and basically telling everyone, and I literally had a customer tell me to get it frozen because of that that's the best way. And I'm glad I listened because once it gets warm and melts, it's not nearly as good. I have a recipe that can make it perfectly like it was in the parks, but I have no way to get it to the frozen way that we had it. You can stick it in the freezer, but it doesn't work very well. You need a slushy machine. So, yeah, I do, basically. Um, did you stay on property or off-site? Off-site, unfortunately. We stayed at Disney. We were only at Universal for one day. If I went back, I would stay on site. Cabana Sarah and I Bay. have already decided that if we ever go back, we're staying at Cabana Bay. I have personal interest in it because I would go to Volcano Bay literally every chance I had. And just in general, I would want to spend more time at Universal because Universal is amazing. We used to have time at Disney. The mouse overlord <laughs> has ripped us off. Did Stupid you buy anything from City Walk? I don't think so. I don't think I did. I know we at least went into a couple well, of stores. Well, you know what? Unless you count that Snoopy penny I got my dad. <laughs> I don't know if it was coming out of Island of Adventure or right at the It wasn't beginning. Snoopy. It was Popeye. It was a Popeye pressed penny. I got that on the way out. I think that might have been in <laughs> City Walk. I have no idea. It was either Leaving Island of Adventure or the first store that was right before you would have gotten there. I had bought my friend who sells Avon a Minion tumbler, and I don't remember if that was City Walk or not. <laughs> but if it wasn't, then the answer would be no. Favorite thing you bought from the park? I literally bought three things. Um, I don't know. I thought you said your favorite was the candy. Yes, but I'm gonna change that because my favorite thing I bought while I was at the park was that burger from Rick's. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know if technically that should count or not, but I'm <laughs> counting it because let me tell y'all, if you get the chance to go to Universal, you go to Richter's and you get a burger because their portions are huge and their mm -hmm. food is amazing. Oh. <laughs> and once you actually realize the theming, it makes sense. I didn't at first. But then I remembered that the Richter scale yeah. is what they base earthquakes off of and it was themed around earthquakes and then it made sense. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I like I said, I got three things. I bought some saltwater taffy, the tumbler for my friend. And I bought myself a Hufflepuff keychain. So I'd probably have to go with the keychain even though it broke. Not even six months later. What would have been one item you would have wanted for yourself had money not been an object? Um, well. I'm going to say money loosely because I did buy it. I did buy it. I think I know where this is going. But I don't have it because I gave it to someone to hold on to. And it got And she stolen. sat it down and it got stolen. I could have easily sat it down myself. I sat it down to put my wallet away. I offered to buy her a new one. I just and told she her to hold on to it. Too salty to let me do it. I just told her to hold on to it for a minute. She did not do it. 
So that was the refillable. I wanted my souvenir cup from Universal. It was a refillable souvenir cup, which I offered to buy her a new one, and she turned the offer down. I wanted the one I bought. I asked you to hold on to it for a minute. <laughs> I sat it down to put my wallet away. I could and have it got sat so it down stolen. myself. That is no excuse. For me, I would have probably been a chocolate frog. I know it's candy, but I went in thinking, oh yeah, chocolate frog, it's cream filled because I had read that somewhere online. Come home, couple months later, Ro posts a video of them trying the candy and the chocolate frog is in it and it's solid. I wanted that frog, but I thought it was gonna be filled with cream that I wouldn't want. But no, I want that stupid frog. And lastly, if money was no object again, what would be one item you would have gotten for someone else and who? I don't know. As silly as it is, I probably would have gotten something Marvel related. I don't know what Marvel related, but something for mom or my dad. They love Marvel. No one in my family cared about anything there, except for Joey, who likes Spongebob. You could have gotten him a Spongebob shirt. Meh. Meh. So you can't think of anything? Alright then. That will have been the end of this. So, if I remember, which I probably will, I will leave these questions down below if you want to use them. And she's going to continue playing with her grilled cheese squishy. <laughs> By the way, what does your shirt say? Dogs, because people suck. <laughs>